This video is sponsored by AnyTrance. Easily manage your iPhone without having to use iTunes. With AnyTrance, you can transfer data between two different iPhones, an iPhone and an Android device, or from a backup to your iPhone. You can transfer stuff like pictures, videos, documents, ringtones, music, and other stuff as well. And with the newest version, you can also transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to your iPhone. Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about battery life. One of the most important things when it comes to smartphones. Seems like we're always running low on battery and there is always huge room for improvement on battery life. Even though nowadays the smartphones have better batteries, bigger batteries and they will last longer, there are still like different settings, different apps, different stuff that will consume a lot of battery on your iPhone and will make its life shorter. So in this video, we're gonna go through 10 simple steps which will help you get better battery life on any iPhone running iOS 13. Step number one, dark mode. Now this was one of the most important features of iOS 13 when it was first introduced. It will also help the battery life of your iPhone. And this has been tested and it has been proved to work. So basically this will work only on devices with OLED displays. So the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s, the iPhone 11 Pro. So basically, once you enable dark mode, which you can do from the display and brightness settings or from your control center, when you go to dark mode, you can see that there is a lot of black here on the screen. And with an OLED display, every basically every pixel that is black is actually turned off it doesn't show a black color it's turned off that way it will consume less power than a normal display than a led display this is really really awesome and of course very very useful to have so you can enable dark mode from here or from the control center it's of course better to set it on automatic so it will automatically turn on during night time. If you don't wanna use it during the day, set it in automatic, but use it as much as you can because it will save a ton of battery on your device. Step number two fitness tracking. Now, if you go to your settings and you go to privacy, if you scroll down, you will find here a button that says motion and fitness tracking. If you go here, you have fitness tracking, which you have enabled or disabled. You can, of course, enable it if you want the health app to track your movement, your steps, the calories you're burning, all of that. Of course, you have to keep it enabled, but there is also a list of all the apps that have permission to track your movement your motion and your fitness so of course all of that will take processing power that way will also consume battery make sure you go ahead and configure these and just enable the apps that you really really need one of the biggest battery drainers on an iphone or notifications so you have to be very very careful when managing your notifications when you install apps usually the first thing they will do is ask you to turn on notifications and if you just go one by one and turn on notifications you will have a bunch of them all day lighting up the screen of your iPhone and that way consuming a ton of battery. So what I suggest you do, you go to settings, you go to notifications right here and you will have a list of all the apps that you have installed and all these will have the option here to configure their notifications. So if I go to one of the apps, so here we have Facebook, I can go ahead and configure this the best way so it will consume less battery. So for example, I can disable the lock screen so it won't light up the screen of my iPhone, won't show a notification there, but it will still have a sound here and a badge which lets me know that I have something new there so I don't completely miss out on things. So you can of course go ahead and manage these the way you prefer and the way you need them to and of course these will save a ton of battery another thing you should do is take a look at the widgets that you have on your iphone so if you go to the left side here on the home screen of your iphone you will have here a bunch of widgets usually when you get a new iphone you will have a ton of them enabled here or when you update you will see a ton of them enabled and of course a lot of apps will also offer you new widgets so that you can use them on your iphone now these are cool and some of them are useful at the same time but they will of course consume a ton of battery so what i suggest again go ahead and just leave on those that you really need so right here all i have is siri app suggestions and i have batteries this is mostly to 
just to take a look at the battery of my airpods because otherwise i would remove this completely from here so i just keep the ones that i really really need if you have a bunch of them here most of them probably don't even use that often they will consume a ton of battery on your iphone another thing that will consume a ton of battery are apps if you just pay attention to the apps that you have and you use daily some of them really require a lot of battery to run some of them are just made poorly and they will consume a ton of battery out of your device so what you need to do is go to settings go to the battery section and right here you will see a list of all the apps that you have on your device and here you can see how much battery they are consuming so of course if you show the activity it will show you the hours that you have spent on those apps so if you have spent a lot of time on the on an app of course it will be at the top here and it will consume more battery but there are the apps you don't spend a lot of time on those and they consume a ton of battery take a look at those apps and make sure you remove them probably you will find a lot of different alternatives on the app store apps that do basically the same things but don't consume that much battery now with the newer iphones there is a feature called rise to wake if you have noticed when you pick up your iphone from a table or you take it out of your pocket it will just light up the screen automatically that's a cool feature to have but it will consume battery it's all the time active waiting for the motion of the iphone to wake up the screen that of course consumes processing power and battery as well so you go to settings you go to display and brightness and right here will find rise to wake make sure you turn that off in order to consume less battery on your iphone and the next step is right here also auto lock just above it you will find auto lock now if you keep it on never right here you can leave your phone on the table or somewhere and you don't lock it it will just sit, stay with the screen awake that of course just consumes battery and it's not doing anything but if you choose like 30 seconds or maybe a minute then after that time it will automatically lock the device and of course turn off the screen that will help a ton and not just drain the battery out of your iphone of course, a huge battery drainer or location services as well. If you go to privacy, you go to location services, right here will have a bunch of apps that use your location. Most of them probably have just enabled location and you not even need that on that app. Make sure you go ahead and do a basic review of these and just turn off location services for the apps that you don't wanna have it on just leave it for those that you really really need that way it won't consume that much battery and if you go to system services as well you will find here different services system services that use location that of course also consumes a ton of battery you will have significant locations right here you can see right here have phone analytics and all that just go ahead turn them off because you don't really need them now there are some things right here that you really need to have location services on like emergency calls and sos don't turn that off by any means because it might even save your life in the recent years with an update on ios 12 i believe it was apple has made it impossible to completely turn off bluetooth or wi-fi from the control center that's really convenient you just completely turn it off and you're good to go now you have to do it through the settings of your iphone but if you just turn off bluetooth or wi-fi from the control center they are still on they're working in the background and they're not completely disabled they're just disconnected so make sure when you don't need especially bluetooth or airdrop or even wi-fi make sure you go to settings and completely turn them off now by turning off bluetooth you will also turn off airdrop so you don't need to do both of them but if you don't need them you don't need to use like wi-fi or bluetooth make sure you turn them off from the settings not from the control center and last but not least is optimized battery charging now, optimized battery charging is a new feature of the iphone it is really really useful i know a lot of people don't actually use it because they think that it won't charge their iphone to 100 percent and they will need that percentage but it's actually very useful and very helpful in the long run now if you go to settings go to battery and then go to battery health right here you will find optimized battery charging if you enable this this 
on the long run will basically expand the lifespan of the battery of your iPhone. And this percentage that you see right here, this is the basically the health of your battery. Mine is at 95% right now. With optimized battery charging, it will last way, way longer. So always make sure you use optimized battery charging on your iPhone. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully these tips will help you get a better battery life on your iPhone on iOS 13. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.